So, just a few weeks shy of Earth Day, I heard a knock right as I was about to enter my shower, and I got my, uh, my Arbor Day Foundation tree, which I'm about to go and plant. So, gonna be a pause in this now. All right, so per the instruction, it's time to soak these for three to six hours in water. I've never done this before, and I'm really, really nervous. Um, but yeah, you're supposed to then dig a three-foot hole and um, put them in. And these are all separate trees. I'm going to try to very carefully lift one out. Um, yeah, there's the root. And then there you go. So, I suppose I'm going to have to dig several holes. It's going to be quite a bit of work that I wasn't expecting to do today, but that's the way life is sometimes. <laughs> it's going to be pleasant, though. Alright, everybody. So, I dug too many holes, and some of them way too close together. I had to make some arrangement. This is where the uh, dogwoods are going to go. Right over there. Right over there. And then I have some American red buds, which are going to go over yonder the old fire space and here they got about a 20 to uh, thirty no a thirty foot spread for one and twenty well twenty five foot spread for the other so maybe I should put the dogwoods here actually um, anyway so here's this information that came with the trees it was very good I think I sent them something like ten dollars and I got quite a few trees so uh, I actually gave a couple up to my neighbor who just walked by, and uh, he has just moved into the area, so he wanted to plant some trees too. Um, yeah, got um, the crepe myrtles and the crab apples and the hawthorns in the front yard. I've got, you know, the two crepe myrtles, the two crab apples um, in the very, very, very front of the front yard, and then I've got. The two Washington Hawthorns in the middle of either side of my driveway. So that turned out pretty, pretty dang swank. And I've had 45 minutes more for the uh, trees to soak. Again, I've never done this before, which is why I'm uh, kind of like shotgunning all this information that I've recently found out. But yeah, it was an interesting experience. Hopefully I dug the holes properly. You know, they said to dig them wide and to leave them shallow. But I wanted to loosen the soil underneath for the expansion of the root growth. Because you're supposed to only cover up to the uppermost portion of where the root is. So yes, trees, fantastic. Dog, hey puppy. Hey, say hello. Hey, me, it's a cutie pie. All right, so there they are waiting planting. We've got about 20 minutes to go now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put the great myrtles right about yonder. And one of the hawthorns there, other hawthorn on the other side. And um, some other stuff over yonder. <laughs> I'm trying not to film uh, houses and things for privacy's sake. Anywho, yay. Plants. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. And so now I take a triumphant sip to the health of the trees. I applied it to ten today. I gave it to you to a neighbor. It is quite a mess right here. These are the papers I used. So, at first I panicked because I thought I'd lost the color coding when I took off the bands. There were the colors, but apparently the stems had uh, colors on them. Um, and so I was able to plant them with adequate spacing, as far as I can tell, based on the uh, spread of the tree. Now, as I've said, I think in the previous little section that I just filmed, um, two crepes, two crepe myrtles, no, not myrtles. Um, yes. Two, yeah, we have two crepe myrtles. And um, two sergeant crab apples in the front, one on the left, one on the right, the crepe on the left, the crab on the right, if I'm facing that direction. Anyway, you don't care about that, dude. that's minutiae. Uh, and then the hawthorns, plants one here, one there, because they're a bigger tree, behind the myrtles and things in the front yard. And then I had uh, two dogwoods on the left and the back, and three... Oof, red buds on the right. 
So, it should all turn out to be fantastic. Hopefully they don't die. I've never done this before. It was a very rushed job because I'd literally just uh, gotten done working out. I was sipping in the shower when I heard that knock and boom, there's the trees that I thought weren't even coming because I had failed to go to some center to pick them up. But yeah, then they were out of my doorstep and then I had to go out after my exhausting, you know, 4.45 a.m. shift over at the uh, place that I work. Don't disclose that because privacy. Anywho, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully they grow. I left an indentation. I didn't pat the soil down too much, but right above the root is where the soil line is. Um, hopefully, yeah, those are the instructions, so it should all be good. Can you tell that I'm a bit, um, sized up from all of the caffeine and things that I've had earlier in order to get me through this day? Tell you.